Hello everybody, Forest Month is here, again with a new knife, but with this knife I will say not, not really new because we will, speak, we will speak about this knife, which is uh, Michael Hawke's Helion 2020 Survivor Elite, that's important, Elite. Uh, there are actually two versions of, these, of this knife, and as you can see, like this one, and uh, the the elite model, sorry, is the is the small one. Sorry, is the small one, and uh, see that. So the the bigger is really bigger, and uh, by the way, uh, they are not in produce now. You, you you probably can't buy them as a new one. Actually, I'm, I'm probably exception because. I've tried to, to buy this knife for a long time and I couldn't find anyone. I even put some advertise for uh, that, that I like to buy the bigger version without any response. So it's probably hard to, to buy it. If, if anyone knows of you guys who, where I can buy the, the bigger version of this knife, please let me know. I, I, I'd be happy to know it this moment. So I mean for the sheath. So first time, uh, first time I will I will speak about the knife as I know now. And actually, I had this knife uh, outside, uh, but I'd like to do I'd like to do some you know maybe a little bit uh, grind change or something like that like, as I normally with tops knives I I do. Uh, but I, I'd like to show you uh, a bit difference with grinding on this knife, which I was positively surprised. But firstly, she. This is, as a normal, I think, ballistic nylon uh, tops sheet. And uh, in the pocket, there were actually not just one, but two whistles. Nothing else. So this just for information. Uh, now, because I, I said I, I've been in forest with the knife, and so I used the sheet, and it's, it is really crap, guys. That's you know, if 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 you take it in this way, then it serves. But if you start to thinking about this, uh, we got these two velcros to hold the knife in. There is actually plastic is normally, but there is no retention. There is no something that, that holds the knife in, which is uh, guys and tops. This is such a great knife. So sometimes, you know, and I, I mean, I, I'm, I'll be honest now. If I take uh, newspapers now, and I'll take, I'll take uh, some piece of plastic, maybe from some, some plastic bottle, and uh, a duct tape, in about 20 minutes, I will make better sheet than this one is, guys. Without the pocket, of course. But I can do it, I can prove it. I will do better sheet with that. This is really crap. Even it, it, it looks kind of tactical, but you know. Firstly, there are no some snaps. So after any winter use and something like that, workers go out and everything. Second, these look the the small one. Sorry, the small one, as you can see, is going right through the this this point, which which makes this this uh, as, let's say choil, and it, it is going right over there. I don't understand why. If the, if if this one will be say one centimeter down somewhere here, and we look. The knife here through the through the choil, then this one could serve, of course, if there will be some snap. But uh, this is crap. And and the top one, that's 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 really nothing because you see, I can I can wrap it around. I will have this spare, but you know, this is crap. This is crap absolutely. I, I really don't like this this uh, sheet, so I will make I will make uh, mine similar like this one for for Silent Hero. So this is uh, I don't I don't understand why why they produce uh, these 
sheets. In my eyes, that would be better to set a cheaper price and and uh, let the people ask someone, you know, just just send a knife for better price without that sheet, and people can keep the money and ask to someone who will make the uh, leather sheet or or kydex sheet for them because. Anyway, we need to make better sheet than this one is. This is, as I said, this is crap. So, or, or okay, they, they do some, some Kydex sheet for uh, trackers for some another knives. Okay, why not for this one? I don't understand if, if that will be change price. I don't know. Anyway, you can't buy the knife, probably as I said, 99%, you can't buy the knife as a new knife, as a new one. So it's, uh, I tell you, the price was over two, two fifty US dollars for me. But you need to include uh, shipping and uh, and uh, VAT, of course. And uh, uh, I always forget it. Okay, doesn't matter. Uh, so in in USA, it was probably cheaper, but but customs. But. Uh, it is not important because probably you can't buy the knife. So maybe you're asking now why I'm do what I'm doing the review for the knife. Well, I, I wait for the knife quite a long time. I watched it and uh, I said many times I, said, I will buy this. Uh, then, then another knife came and said, okay, I'll buy this one. I will buy this one. And then it happened. Then they they don't produce these knives m anymore. And so I said, oh, I need to have a look. And if if there will be someone, okay, I'll buy it. If not, so. That's my my uh, problem, as I said. Uh, why I bought the knife is uh, something, you know. Uh, Michael Hawke is, I think, ex army guy. Same as there's many ex. I think I think the guy who is making Hogue knives. He's from army. Uh, the guy who's made the SXB with a collaboration with Tops is. I think a kind of military X or something, you know. And the guy who's who is um, designing the, the Silent Hero is a kind of military. You know, there's so many military guy. And if if any soldier or any someone who is who's been in military in in, in army five in say in ten or even more years, say okay because I've been there. We sometimes use the knife because I believe they were they're not using knives so often like they used nor their rifles and these these weapons. Uh, so I will make I will design my own knife. So I think basically anyone who is working with knives can can you know set a design or make make design for his own what he's think, thinking you know this one will be good this one will be not so good but uh silent hero is nice sxb i got some problems there but i think there's some like kind of copy of of uh, tracker but uh, they said it is not okay I, I will not speak about it because this is, this is not point but this one is something else why? And firstly, as I'd like to say, uh, Michael Hawke is kind of possessed in these with these V shapes uh, and the, and the corners here. I'll show you. I'll show you his another another designs. So you see that. So sorry. So you see the top one is kind of machete, and the uh, bottom one is I think folder. I'm not sure now. And we got another, another knife. I think this one was made by, by uh, Fox. I'm not sure. And we got another machete and this folder. You know, so you, you can see that you know these, uh, these V shapes. Uh, they they design it because they put the 17 angles they formed in history. The 17 angles, uh, 17 degree angles uh, is is good for uh, chopping because when you when you got your handle straight the edge is already forward so it, it increasing chopping power which is good which is true and i like that it's it, this is kind of i it, this one is better for me than if, if the blade is going uh, back to the spine because i think it decreasing chopping ability of course for slicing it could be a different way uh, but uh, Another thing why I bought the knife is not only about survival knife. There is something what I miss 
on my trackers error and I spoke about it. So stride edge, stride edge. You go this one, but it is covered by this uh, by this point. So if you if you imagine you wanna you wanna slice something, so the, the the draw knife is hidden. That's what I said, not here. So you can use this this part, this part for narrow slicing. And by the way, for someone who is thinking now of do I mean I will replace my my trackers? Actually not because each of these knives are kind of different different meaning. I made this one, as I said, this is my TOPS T3 tracker plus Bark River Mini Aurora. I did this one now. So I got this combo and I call it as a bushcraft combo because this combo is basically for everything in bushcraft what you can imagine from splitting, light chopping, light batoning, uh, even carving, skinning, whatever you imagine in this one. This is, in the other hand, is kind of like really more survival thing. Why? Firstly, uh, to use the, I can say any tracker for kind of machete tasks. So I spoke about it. So when you want to chop off the branches, you would longer reach. This is, by the way, uh, size, I will speak about it, size uh, about 30 centimeters, so 12 inches, same as T1, the original tracker is, but you got you got this this part as a sweet sweet points sweet spots for uh, chopping off branches you know and light bush and these things and I can't imagine how I will do this one because this sweep you know it will simply fall off everything will run out of the of the blade when I try to to chop it unless I will I will hold it here so hook it. Like this one or I will grab the branch and chop it like this way which is not really practical so of course uh, I know that this is still short but I will say this one can do it better than than t3 and I believe in t1 and what is important in this knife is lighter than t3 and definitely than t1 of course so some specifications. This is uh, made of 5160 spring steel. This is another reason why I bought the knife. This is my very first knife from that steel and I like to test it. I like to see what, what this steel can stand and these things. Uh, it is harder than someone's, some pages say, say 50 to 56 to 58 HRC, someone from 57 to 58. So that's not really big issue. So still 258. So it's the, the edge should be 58 HRC. Overall length is 11.75 or 29.845 uh, of centimeters. So 11.75 of an inch, 29 centimeters and uh, uh, 84 millimeters so basically 30 centimeters and 12 inches basically you know five millimeters less uh, the handle is 12.7 uh, include this spike here and it is actually very close to t3 that's why I put this this one here so as you can see if we take where the handle is starting and, and to the spike, same as here when the hand, handle is starting to the real finish, we got practically same length of the handle, but this is this is five five point five five and a half I think inches blade and this is uh, this is now I tell you six point seventy five so about three centimeters longer so 1.2 1.25 of an inch longer blade than on t3 tracker which uh, i got it here because this is my now like go-to option ready to use because it's more practical in, in this setup it is still lighter i mean include the sheet than t1 only t1 so this is more practical for me now and let's carry on with this. So we got a handle 5 inches or 12.7 centimeters or, and plate 6.75 really from the, from the handle 
to the very tip and uh, it is 17.145 of millimeter so 17 centimeters and a little bit something weight is just the knife is 12.87 12.87 ounces or 360 grams which is which is uh, 36 grams lighter than this T3 so this one is 36 and 7 grams lighter than T3 which is about one one and one third of an ounce lighter so this it is longer and lighter chopping ability i will test it more but chopping ability is pretty nice but uh, after some i don't think thickness is five millimeters so it should be five i've seen some some details uh, on some page where it was i think point 18 i'm not sure uh, but I, I try to measure it. Unfortunately, battery in my the measure equipment is, is done now, so I need to buy another one. But when I use the manually, the, the same equipment, same tool for the measuring of thickness, and normally without digital screen, I can see easy is five millimeters, so 0.2. So I don't know, I don't know. So for me, it means this is five millimeters. And because it is, the thickness is usually in inches. I believe we are closing to 5.2 millimeters. It's like T3 tracker because they are really, really close. So maybe, maybe that. It, but doesn't matter. 0.2 of millimeter is some kind of paper thickness, like you know. Uh, so and uh, as I said, 360. I've got, oh, I, I, it should be 360 grams. I put this one on the scale and it was 366 or plus six grams, which weights probably nothing, but you know, uh, and 12.8 ounces. The sheet weights 163 grams or 5.7 ounces. Together, overall package is 529 grams or one pound and two point six ounces so one pound and 2.6 ounces this overall package well as i said i spoke about the sheath so definitely the sheath will be will not stay with me and uh, i got now uh, i got now the, the material for the sheet ready so probably tomorrow i will make it uh, so uh, another things these, um, I'll tell you my experience because I said I, I used it a bit light, but I, I really used it. First time, sorry. You know, very thin, very light piece of wood. But what I, I'd like to show you, what I was really surprised, you know, I, I don't like the, the thick secondary bevel as Topps knives usually do have that. And uh, this is T3 model, which same, as I said, it, basically they are in the same thickness. And I did some regrinding and... Uh, you know, kind of work. This one, by the way, I must say, these, uh, I, uh, sorry, you've seen that, but this is really, really working. I can't believe that because, you know, it seems to be, maybe for you, it seems to be kind of stupid, you know, try to the edge for this one, but um, I compared it with, uh, I said T, T2, T1, T3, because that they are in similar thickness and the length of the this grind looks kind of similar, maybe the same. I didn't, I didn't measure it. I can't remember now. But they did not work that good as this one. So I was really surprised. This is my 
a bit 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 uh, modif modified tops silent hero edge which is much more sharper but you know the the angle here see that this is wow, this is long so nice nice which is smooth angle not like this not like this uh, this uh, survivor but as I said, it works. It works, and I was really surprised. Really surprised. Uh, I think I believe that. You know, I'm going back to the point because Michael Hawk on some some uh, YouTube promotion on it was nine knives. I don't know which which uh, which year it was. He said each of these as, as the, these guys usually said each of these something on the knife is meant to be for something and uh, I really like the choice here and of course some of you who is, who is uh, looking on my videos you know it and of course it's not just for pleasure but it is for for nice carving so when before I bought the knife and I tried it I tested this like light slicing uh, I was kind of willing to to make make the choil here for myself. I can do it. It's, it will be not a problem. After I tested it, if, af, after I did these, you know, these nice easy going shavings, easy going take takes you know length of the grind and the thickness. That's that's really something. And. Uh, I don't want it. I don't need it. I don't know. Well, maybe see that. I was surprised, really surprised, guys. So this one is working nicely. So now I am. I decided I will not do it. I will not do it, even if I want to. Or basically, I more I need it to use this knife because this is kind of more of of you know survival, even co combat knife because you know length and yeah, this is k, k bar length i think basically it's very similar k bar 17 centimeters blade so i think very very we are very close but point of balance is kind of forward i don't know i just you know where the choil is so the point of balance is somewhere here probably so when you got it in hand the knife and here, here's your finger normally, so the knife falls forward. So that's uh, really important. So this is a little bit, uh, how to say that, uh, edge or blade forward, you know, knife, which is good for any survival things. I mean, for chopping and uh, batoning maybe, maybe, but uh, basically for chopping. Because for slicing you got this part and it's nice when you go here and now the, the angle is changed so it, it slices somewhere here usually. It, you know, it, it going, it's sliding here and then and it, it is off. Uh, when I bought the knife, I mean the day when I opened it from box I needed to, to uh, destroy a couple of cardboards. So I used the knife uh, just also for trying and this it, it, it really works immediately what I did only on the edge I, I will do it I will I will do a little bit regrinding but not like that much like on the, my all my trackers include the, the smaller one T4 uh, because this one simply works I was surprised so that was that was great so when I when I did well what I did I just used the steel and just put it there just just the, the, the edge like before but it was after that after slicing with cardboards and some chopping some batoning what I did with very light very light but I, I like I was I was wondering I did not any changes on the knife because I'd like you to see the original blade and everything how, how it looks now and how it works the tip by the way is deadly sharp it's really nice but you know now I will speak about these things Michael Hawk uh, said that this knife as I said 
uh, has some uh, each of these part has some purposes it made it was there for something so i like to tell you my first experience with uh, which i had firstly when i see the knife even i didn't have it in my hand i i said oh, this one looks kind of weird and now i can tell you some real experience so and of course i will do outside video so you you can see if someone says okay why are you showing this one because you know we basically can't buy the knife of course it is maybe you think about the knife so and you don't you don't know how this one works maybe it help you if you say okay i will make the knife and i will do these changes because uh, i i seen it and that guy said that it is working so i'll try it or someone of you is maybe thinking to to make his own project and pass it into into knife maker which will make the knife for him so th that this is the reason because of course if you can't buy this knife unfortunately you can't i say now really unfortunately because i believe this is really from from uh, as a survival knife this is one from the best option i've ever seen and i see many many knives i believe and this is really great it is actually i sorry i forget this is made by tops i mentioned but but uh there is a coating there is the micarta we got the liners as normally they do we got a spike here we got the both side guard we got the saw which is working of course and uh, so and we got this like modern town top tip with their secondary edge so now finally go to the to the points what michael hawk says firstly he wants he wants this one as a draw knife for notching and this one for chopping and do the harder things is it working yes it is nicely working nicely working about the tip he said for incising what does it mean incising what is it incising this is incising okay Okay, I said stubbing or piercing or, or trusting, incising, what's that? Okay, but anyway, so if you want to put the, the, the tip through the something, bark, uh, skin, I mean leather, or something like that, you need to, you need to do a bow drill. Um, imagine, <laughs> I forget, um, the machete, Tops machete, you know, when they do, you know, my, when they ask the, for the why the, the tip is that dual they said it is because you want to make a board for bow drilling and the tip was kind of dual that was i don't know it, it is like someone said we will make you uh, wheels for your car it will work or it will ride faster and he will make something not, not really rounded but you know some kind of ellipse or you know you know what i mean so if i say i will i will put the I will make the tip for you here so i will make the tip and the tip will will be like this one say and you say oh you said this is tip i said yeah that's the tip i am um, i made for you so that's that kind of thinking looks for me with the top machete even if the machete is great but you know sometimes or or, or if if i avoid another knife which was completely dull really dull I, I could use I, I did it actually on the video I, I, I did this movement on my finger it doesn't slice doesn't cut me any any anything so you know that, that's what kind of knife it is for what yeah so uh, back to the back to the point so the tip is nicely sharp and it is really working and you can make the board and these things very nicely this is really nice uh, I will not say anything wrong about this because this one of course because the the blade actually I didn't say this is three centimeters 3.2 and 3.2 so this is basically one piece which is cut it in this way and the, the tantos and all these things are uh, okay uh, so I believe with the thickness 3.3 centimeters or thickness wide wideness sorry wideness 3.2 centimeters of course this one helps when you want to pierce something or like that and we got the backside edge they said this is like uh like they said back <laughs> i forget it so if you need it if you need it in you your your primary blade is backup blade uh, that's, that's the word backup blade 
you know, it it not slice. You know, it, it can slice, but yeah, there is something you know for the touch. It don't need that much to be really sharp. Well, he, they demonstrated on video that you do you do this this kind. Of, this will help. Well, maybe, but I believe if I will do this one, I will stick this one. With, this is this is the if I will stick something and I will do this movement, it will damage the thing uh, anyway. So well, okay, okay. Uh, why I'm talking about that is because of course we most of the time use this this part for batoning, which destroy your batoning stick very fast because it's kind of like X sharp, you know, something like this one. And uh, so it is not really practical to use it for batoning, even if for for practical use with batoning is this one better choice than this one, which they advertise. So they, they said you need to baton here, so you, you will baton and go this way. But I believe to, to use, I say boom here, boom here, boom here. You know, this is much more faster way. So I don't know, I don't know. So, and this one maybe it will be not a problem, but sometimes, and that's more important. It's better if you can grab your knife and do so, some jaw movements for whatever reason. And of course you can't do it here unless you will make it dull. Then okay, but there will be no point to have this one here. What what good it what for good it it could be is uh, when you go to wire, say let's say you wanted to uh, destroy wire, so you will not use this one. You will use this edge, and because the really really steep angle here, you can destroy it more like an axe. As I said, you will probably not destroy if that wire will be not hardened for really some high high hard ratio or how to say simply it will be normal wire so you can you can destroy in this way or of course you can do notch to some I don't know bone or something like that but you got the saw so basically there will be not really option so this is kind of you know maybe yes maybe no I don't know I don't know I, I, I will keep it in this way and we'll see after time what is good there is a saw which has one, two, three, four, five, six teeth, which uh, T7 has, I think, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So uh, it is same like T2, the smaller model than this one is. They have same same number of teeth. But interesting is that we got this part, which when you do the saw movements, sewing movements, you need to control yourself if you're using spare space here. When you miss, when you do this one, when you miss the last, you need to really stop very fast and that's really uncomfortable. So basically you will stop your movements here somewhere. So this, the, the last two here is probably for nothing or you are in risk. You know, it is not really comfortable if you do this one, then the knife lose the contact with the wood or whatever you're sewing so you need to put it back and continue not here here you got some some space spare where you finished your the movement and then you come you can go back much more easy uh, that's that's work that, that that's really great i'll be i'll be happy i'll be happy if that part will be flat more here said i spoke about it because this last uh, last uh, hole here they said this is for breaking wire well i never did it never tried it never break the knife i put my leatherman tool if i really need something like that. yeah maybe it, it works maybe yeah but i never use that so i i don't believe this this one is that you know so, sometimes you know it is interesting they said okay it, it could be as an escape tool you know for military you know you got this you can go through the some wire wires which which uh, are usually around some cape so you escape from that prison let's say okay where where you get this one you know you know you know what i mean so sometimes are these these things uh, same as uh, as i think i i read that on t1 original they said they they tested the saw you can go through the aircraft wall 
you can you can go out of aircraft with a T1 so you can go outside I, I've seen it somewhere and uh, or seen someone says it or someone I, I've read it I, I hope I, I do I am not saying some some idiot things but I, I, I 90 percent I'm sure that I, I've heard uh, or read something like that it is nice unless you find yourself with a life within a crushed aircraft with the knife in your hand which are you know if you go if you pass you know check or security on your aircraft you can't have you can't have nothing so even if this one will be in your luggage and you will be lucky to survive you need to find it the knife need to survive and it need to be somewhere there and you need to find you know what i mean so back to the knife uh, we got the saw. This one is, is great. Everything. This one, uh, they said this one. The guard is good. So when you need to to stop through something or whatever, you don't want to slide. You don't want your hand slide there. Even you will be tired and all these things. Mm, this one, if you if you want to use the knife in this way. It's not that comfortable seeing that and it doesn't really help when I use this this port this part of blade I use it in this normal grab and it works so I kind of believe this one is there for nothing basically yeah it helps maybe for that situation but uh, I think this one this choice is really deep so probably it will be not that critical but I don't know. Uh, by the way, these are uh, 90 degrees. This is 90 degrees. But these are rounded. Same like this one. This is rounded. Uh, probably you can make a fire with this. I didn't use it. I will check it outside. Uh, now, a bit controversial, which uh, came to me very immediately when I when I'm seeing this uh, the advertising. Okay, let's say this this spike. Firstly, you can use it for this. This um, you can go through this, some coconut. You know, you can break it. Okay, maybe but you can use whatever else. If you put the, the blade, you can go through that. So basically, you don't need it for it. And uh, to crush, you know, the window to the car. Yeah, that could be. But you can do it in this in different way. You can use this one. You put this hard corner, so you can. You can just turn it and do it in, a little bit in this way and probably it works also. Uh, why I am talking about that is this is plus and minus and basically you don't crush the car windows many times and don't open coconuts in this way many times but, but what you can do many times you can help yourself with the manipulation when you need to press the knife into something and this one sucks so that's that's what i found first name in use i did i did split split wood so i had this part so i usually do this one i stab it i, I want to split it so usually I, I just knock on the on the top stab the blade into the into the material then i twist and it will it will split the wood not here i can't do this one so I did it you know some you know I, I I've tried to find a way so I'm kind of thinking to take this one off because I don't really see more practical use in it more but much much more hard for me thinking is you said you got two hammers one flat one rounded well guys this is really something if we say this is five millimeters thick you don't have really much space to hit something with the weight and size. What kind of hammer this one will be, I'm not sure. I think it is will be pretty weak. Also, it is on this side. It is the other side. So, and, and much more logical thing is, we usually use the hammer in this way. So we need to grab it, and then you can hammer it how I can grab it. I'd like to have my knife sharp. Of course, I can put it in the, into the sheet, but if I got it in the sheet, that's first thing what, what will sucks. 
And second thing, because this is a steel and there is an insert plastic, if I will do this one a couple of times and I really want to, to nail something down, I will destroy the plastic. So I will destroy the sheet. And that's what's the point there? I didn't I don't understand. So basically with the combination of this one, you know, so I can do it maybe in this way, but what I can nail in this way, not really something. Yeah, I can do small. I believe I can do this one in this way. I will be a bit worried here. I said it is dull, but it is not that dull. But okay, if that I can do it basically, but it's nothing what I can do in this way. Definitely. Or maybe you tried it, I did many times. Sometimes if I got nail, I'll I put the, the flat piece of, of knife on this one. I'll take like batoning stick and and I can nail nail the nail into the wood through the, the knife. Easy way and much more practical. Why I'm telling this one is I can see this one in more practical way. I can tell you now when I chopped with the knife, this one dig into my pinky quite painfully, quite painful guys. I'm really there. I'm really on the side, you see. So when I chop, when I did stress, the knife a little bit moves and I had this corner in my pinky. And because this is one, 1.23 centi millimeters, sorry, 1.2 uh, 1.3 centimeter this one so it's not really big space for the for that as, as a hammer as we said so that's really this is nice comfortable for for chopping unless you, you this one you got this one in your pinky and you you will have it and I got small hand for someone who's got a bigger hand it will be a bigger bigger problem so my my opinion on this one and actually I can see this handle I show you I show you sorry but I've been kind of like on this handle this how it was shaped as a base because I had experience with the machete I spoke about it look look for the just basic handle shape they look quite similar so that's why I trusted it. So what I want to do, I will do, which I will definitely do. I will take off this corner and I will do this one more, more rounded. Forget this hammer because I believe this is useless. I can find better way how to nail something down because this is, if, if, I, if I said you take a size, uh, the, the incising or oh, this one's place, what you can do with that weight and how you can do nail, it, for me, it will not work. I, I believe so this is this is something overthink for me it means like overthink you know what I will put into the knife or oh, small TV or you know I don't know whatever uh, this one you got, we got actually actually this hole for bone drilling which is good if you hold the knife in this way so you cover cover the blade in this one I, I, I don't want to do it in this way I can do it. I can imagine I can do it in this way, and it, it helps. So that's 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 cool. That's I think this is this is good. So some you know this is kind of overthink knife for me, but uh, it's still nothing I can deal with it, with it. So it's not really a big problem, and I really like it. The handle, by the way, on this model, on this elite model, the small one, uh, is you know it's for smaller handles. Small, sorry, smaller hands. It has same thickness as the T3, so these thickness are the same. And probably I will wrap this one also, not here, but I will wrap this one. So I will, I will round this one. Maybe I'll take this one off. Not sure now, but this one definitely. I will round this one and I will wrap this, and it will be more, much more comfortable. But um, for the first use and course change the sheath for the first use I, I did I was kind of surprised that was really really great and I've expected something like that and uh, I, I was I was happy I was happy I bought the knife and I was kind of you know it will be all right or no but it is of course just just a bit hint as a company I can have these two knives some for someone this one could 
looks uh, you know same you know too big for it as a company but still this is 150 grams about lighter than this one so six ounces lighter and as you can see significantly uh, shorter with different tip and definitely different much more slicey grind or of course we can have the choice like this one or very similar which is something you know this is really short light and the other things so the advantages for me on this knife is the narrow blade i can use normal slice i can a bit more chop with this this is good i can use it more as a self-defense tool if needed really if needed or to finish a game unless or, or unlike like this uh trackers i can do it with this one but much more this this is not that effective even is is uh, heavier so this is for that purpose uh, so that that's it for now so i hope this one helps helps you guys maybe just you like the knives as i do so you see okay that's interesting maybe i will use some uh, hits hints sorry uh, what what this one how this one could serve oh i didn't say by the way uh i will do the the test video i mean outside test video but i did the batoning and maybe you see the the shiny shiny parts uh you see the coating is going off very fast actually i didn't much i, I did not that much uh splitting batoning and the coating went off very fast, very fast. So, and this is uh, 5160 spring steel, which is not resistant steel, uh, rust resistant steel. So it will be the coating there, it will, better, it will be better to have it there. But as I can see now in hard using, it will go off uh, faster than I wanted. But you know that's the life so i can take care of it some use some oil and etc we know you know it. so guys if if anyone of you knows where to buy the bigger version which i'm thinking after after my experience to use with this one if that one that one is nine nine uh inches blade so and so this should be like this one and a bit wider heavier so it can use it can be used more like like chopper even like more like machete not because the weight because weight will be much more i don't know how how heavy it is actually sorry but because the reach and because you got the angle which helps you to 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 keep the brushes you chopping chopping down you know they, they put them into the blade not out of the blade and because this one you know the sweet pot is really nice this is 17 centimeters blade so not really long blade yeah it's like com kind of combat length of knife but uh, it is not really long but because of this if there will be around the tip it will be probably it will, it will start it somewhere more down so i will lose the sweet point this this angle helps for the chopping you you got a longer blade until you need it and of course this tip is nice when you when you need to split something when you chop into it so it it simply works as a tip so it's really great so if anyone, anyone of you uh, knows where to buy the longer version just send me please the uh, link i'll try to buy because i really think that this one is great but the big version could be for me now as a really one tool option really one tool option because it can chop drill stop tr it, because the this one it it really can do small kindlings and uh, you know that's that's really great i i know i always say okay i can have some small knife which i will probably even with the knife i have but it will re probably normally i i got as i said usually three knives some small bigger and really bigger and in that option i can see just the small and the bigger and that's it and of course with the saw which helps there is much more teeth so you get more more length for your strokes that's really very interesting say maybe it's for someone say oh that's ugly knife and it's kind of ugly knife i agree but it is kind of nice ugly you know what i mean so i like the knife so i'll try it so i hope this one helps you guys and thank you for your attention and see you next time bye